Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the dentist saw channel. I am future dentist saw and today uh, I just wanted to do a little summary of everything that has happened in third year so far. The video is going to be divided as you can see here uh, in these sections so if you'd like to skip to one of these questions uh, go ahead uh, and you can click on them. But uh, for now, let's start off with the first thing. The subjects that we have done in third year. There were nine subjects that we did in our third year, first semester of dentistry. And these subjects are as follows. Number one, pediatrics. So we started pediatrics in our second semester of our second year. And we've just been going on about it, learning about it until right now where we just had our exams in the January exam season. By the way, check out the blog that I made uh, for the January exam season, season where I'm studying pediatrics. So what we did is in the second semester of first year, we learned more about the histology of how um, the tooth is developed and the ontogenic development of the maxillofacial region and all of that sort of stuff. And then in our third year this year, uh, we learned more about uh, what happens in a clinical situation. For example, tooth abnormalities uh, such as taurodontism and how that affects uh, the person's way of living and how to treat it and things like that uh, so it was much more clinical this year and then we combined all of that from second and third year and we had our January final exam for pediatrics next subject the next subject we had for our first semester of third year is conservative dentistry and what do we do in conservative dentistry? Well, we learn how to make cavity preparations in people that have caries. For this, we learn it with two main chemicals, which were uh, amalgam and composite. For example, this is a composite restoration uh, that I did on a central incisor. The color is a bit off because this was the only color available at the time. But I don't know, I think I did a pretty good job. So uh, that is mainly what we did in conservative dentistry this year and theoretically obviously we learned the different classes of caries uh, and uh, their shapes and some other uh, details about them. Next subject. We also got to try out making these cavity preparations in a uh, VR computer uh, setup sort of thing. Uh, if I have a clip of it right there. So yeah, that was pretty interesting, uh, trying to make cavities in there. And then we had like this little competition in our class, like who can get the most accuracy? Uh, and we were all going for it. I think the highest was like 80% or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, it was really fun. And uh, yeah, one of my favorite subjects. Next subject. Prosthetics. Now prosthetics was one of those subjects where we learned uh, how to make the preparation junctions for uh, future crown restorations uh, such as ceramic crowns or metal crowns or metal ceramic crowns and uh, the different types of junctions such as a J junction or you could have a, a knife edge preparation uh, and all of those different uh, types of preparations. We got to do this on the phantom heads. Now you might be thinking what the heck is a phantom head? Well. Phantom heads are basically these models which look like real people. So while you're working, you're like, yo, I'm a dentist already, mate, I'm ready. Obviously, actual patients are gonna be a bit different, but for now, we'll take it. We'll take the phantom heads, we'll practice on them, and we'll get our skill level up there. Next subject. The next subject is oral surgery. So in oral surgery, we learned about nerve blocks, uh, how to apply anesthesia, uh, some hygiene techniques uh, when it comes to dealing with patients. And we also got to see quite a few extractions actually and seeing our doctor actually apply the anesthesia and then extract the tooth. It was just so exciting to actually see a patient and see them being operated on. Cause I feel like you learn so much more when you're actually in the field and seeing uh, the patient having the extraction, having the anesthesia, rather than just learning theory, 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 which eventually becomes boring. But actually seeing the patient and seeing the extraction and the anesthesia happen because our teacher took us to the actual clinics was really interesting because you see all of the procedures that go through uh, when it comes to an extraction of a tooth which you might not think is a big deal but it's really scary and there's so many mistakes that can happen so seeing our teacher work so professionally it was just best thing ever next subject the next subject is prophylaxis in prophylaxis we learned about um, the use of toothbrushes the use of floss the use of uh, mouthwash the different types of toothbrushes the different types of uh, toothpaste and how toothpaste affects the teeth and how uh, hydroxyapatite crystals become fluoroxyapatite crystals which are more resistant to caries and things like that 
and in the next semester I think we learn about how to actually um, brush your teeth properly, how to floss properly, which you might think everyone knows how to do that but there's always a technique and there's always a way uh, for you to improve your brushing, flossing, whatever it is, technique and to improve our oral hygiene. I think it's a really good subject. Next subject. The next subject was pathophysiology. Now pathophysiology was basically a continuation of physiology which we did in second year um, where in physiology you learn about how the things in the body work whereas in pathophysiology it's in the name pathophysiology we learn about the diseases and the things that can go wrong uh, in the body and how the normal functions of the body can be uh, influenced and affected and uh, caused to not work properly. Next subject Pathoanatomy. In pathoanatomy, uh, once again, continuation of uh, anatomy that we did in first and second year, where we learn about everything that can wrong, go wrong anatomically with the body. So far, we are with just in histological sections, but it's one of those subjects that I feel like it's gonna have a lot of information, and I'm gonna have to probably be on it uh, if I want to do well in this subject. Next subject: microbiology. Now microbiology was one of those subjects that we carried on from second semester of second year and moved on to first semester of third year and then we had our exams in January for microbiology. Uh, in the exam we had an MCQ stage, an essay stage and then once again the oral stage. Now uh, the exam went pretty well, thank you for asking. Studying for it was an absolute pain because of the number of microbes and their morphology, their treatment, the diseases they cause, all of that that we had to learn but it paid off in the end and I made it through microbiology. So. I'm excited uh, to see what new subjects we get in the next semester. Thing is, most people would think that microbiology is not really re related to dentistry. Why are you studying it? What are you doing? But one interesting thing we learn in microbiology is about the oral microflora. The oral microflora is basically a bunch of bacteria and uh, other microorganisms that live inside your mouth. And it's normal, that's just where they stay and they don't do anything harmful to you, you actually need them to live. For example, before kids get their teeth, did you know that 98% of the microbes in their mouth are S. salivarius? And then once you're grown, the microbe that actually causes caries is known as Streptococcus mutans. So it was actually quite relevant knowing that all of these microbes have different effects in the mouth and how they are normally there, but in certain situations they can become harmful to the body and actually cause caries and other sort of problems. Next subject. The next subject is psychology. So in psychology we learn about how your mental state affects uh, the way you work, the way you live, the way you react to things and we also learn about things such as burnout where basically if you work too hard and you're constantly working eventually you can't be bothered and you're not going to study and you're like what am I doing with my life? So study hard but at the same time take your time, enjoy your life as well because if you don't you're going to get burnt out and then you can't study because you can't be bothered. And that was it for the subjects wise. Uh, as it, when it comes to exams, as I mentioned earlier, we had uh, microbiology, uh, pediatrics and psychology uh, for our January exam season uh, this year or this semester. And uh, yeah, made it through them all so I'm happy. So now we'll go into the Q&A part of this video where I'll answer some questions. Question number one, how did I find the exams in the first semester? I think that some of the expectations that I had were uh, not so positive because so many people said that it was going to be really difficult, it was going to be hard to make the year, it was going to be hard to study. Um, and I'm not saying that they're wrong because it was quite a lot of information to digest but because the information was so interesting, I feel like and so much dental related, at the end of the day we want to become dentists, right? Because of that it was so interesting that I don't think I found it that difficult. Um, and obviously I finally learned how to study properly. It's so important to know what your style of studying is. Are you a visual learner? Are you a, uh, someone that learns from listening? Are you someone that learns from writing? Are you someone that learns from group work? Find out what is best for you and honestly you'll find everything uh, turning out to be so much easier than you expected it. The next question is what was the toughest time uh, you had in this semester? I think the hardest part was uh, the beginning of the year because when you come to uh, third year especially you start so many more dental related subjects and all of a sudden so many terms are just thrown at you You're like, oh, what's the tooth junction? I don't know what's going on. What's the what's the knife edge preparation? I don't know, but eventually you figure it out you can watch videos You can ask your teacher then you figure it out and then everything starts making sense and it doesn't seem uh, That difficult. Oh, and oh my god. I lost 
my conservative work please don't be like me and be dumb keep your conservative work safe when you go to third year because um i lost my conservative work like two weeks before we had to hand it in and then i had to do everything again i managed to do it thank god uh but it was really scary because i had to start everything all over again next question the most interesting part of this semester the most interesting part of this semester i think would have to be um finally understanding what the junctions are what the preparations are how cavity uh, preparations in uh for amalgam and composite and all of those work and then actually putting them into practice and learning how to use a handpiece properly finally and actually seeing the extractions carried out by our doctor is so professionally um, as soon as you do a anesthesia like three seconds later the patient can't feel anything and he's ready for the extractions it was just so pleasant to see and it was uh, just so exciting to see that I'm gonna be doing these one day and I'm gonna do it so well too and it was just really exciting to see next question what is your favorite subject um, right now I'd say my favorite subjects are between conservative and pros conservative dentistry and prosthetics especially because in conservative we're doing this sort of extra research on uh, laser surgery so pretty interesting and in prosthetics they've introduced these uh, 3d oral scanners so i really want to try those out and see how they work uh, but i'm also really interested in oral surgery because it just seems so interesting and everything just makes so much sense you know like when you learn so many random bits of information and then all of a sudden one day you just get a light bulb moment and everything makes sense that oh my god so that is oral surgery uh, oral surgery for me basically <laughs> basically i can't decide they're all my favorite subject every dental subject is my favorite subject next question <laughs> what is your least favorite subject i'd say my least favorite subject is probably pathoanami but only because i feel like it's going to be so annoying to study because it's going to have so much like when our teacher is speaking every single thing he says is another fact so if i'm going to have to get to that level that's going to require a lot of memorization and I can already feel my head getting warm so I'm not excited for that, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> the next question, what are some practical skills that you have learned this year? Well, I'd say I've learned three main practical skills. The first one being how to do cavity preparations for different types of materials such as amalgam or composite and for different classes of caries. Um, as well as that, I've learned how to do some tooth preparations uh, for artificial crowns in the future. And along with that, theoretically, I've learned how to do an, an anesthesia. Uh, I'm not sure how it will work with the actual patients, but hopefully it goes good and I'll have my doctor along with me uh, to help me out, you know, uh, telling me do this, do this, do this, and just to make sure I get it right. But I'm excited to see what happens next semester. Things that you think that you could improve. Uh, the first thing I think I could improve is um, taking my time, chilling out. Because uh, when we first started working with the hand pieces, for some reason, in my head, I was like, yo, I already know how to, how to use these. I'm an expert, you know what I'm saying? And then while practicing, obviously, I realized I wasn't an expert and I was trying to rush, which you never should do. Because eventually, once I relaxed and I was like, you know what, let me take my time with this and learn it properly. And then I'll just go slowly with the hand piece, trying to do the preparation junction. And eventually I got there and I think my speed improved uh, drastically. Having completed all of my conservative work uh, within uh, two weeks was... Uh, a fee and I could see the improvement as I went along so I just need to relax a little bit and take a chill pill the next thing that I need to improve this is more like a personal thing I need to be more careful of my work like realistically who the heck loses their entire semester's worth of conservative work so next semester I'm gonna have a box and I'm gonna keep everything in there and I'm gonna keep it organized and I'm not gonna lose anything. That is like one of my goals. Closing remarks. Overall, I'd say it was a very good semester. This was probably one of my best semesters uh, that I've had since I've started the uni, both study-wise and living my own life and you know, just everything-wise. Um, I've really enjoyed it, especially all the new dental subjects we've started and all the new uh, dentistry-related things we're doing. I'm starting to feel more and more like a dentist and eventually one day I will be a dentist. I can do it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta motivate yourself and that's what I'm doing right here. Uh, but I am really excited uh, for the new year of 2020. I have loads of goals set up. And one of my goals, by the way, to reach 500 subscribers this year. So if you haven't subscribed, Subscribe right down there below because you know loads more videos are coming and we're gonna have so much fun and you do not want to miss out. So, 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 so subscribe right down there below. It's free. Hit that button. I think that's all I have to say. I just want to thank all of my teachers. Thank you very much for being good teachers and teaching me uh, everything that I needed to know for my exams. And thank you for my friends for being there. And thank you to you guys for watching. 
My name is Vijay Dent South and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>